Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. Up next, Jose Padilla was born and raised in the Imperial Valley, a parent who came from farm worker families. He was the first of his family to attend college, graduating from Stanford University in the early 1970s, when many Latino students felt a social obligation to give back to the communities that raised them. Jose decided that he could best serve his community through legal advocacy as director of the California Rural Legal Assistance, where he has become the major voice in the fight for the rights of farm workers and rural Latino communities. And coming up, Jose tells us all about how far this fight has come and what are some of the day's biggest challenges right here on American Latino TV. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. Jose Padilla, I'm the executive director of California Rural Legal Assistance. I was born and raised in Imperial County. Uh, I was raised by migrant farm worker grandparents, both sides of my family. My father was a migrant farm worker. But growing up in those communities, you understand what it is to be the poor family in that community. These were small towns divided by a railroad track. We knew what our side was. We lived in the poor schools, very segregated. And then you go to the, the west side and you know there you have the growers with how, homes that are half a block long. And So when you grow up in those communities, you understand the inequality produced by poverty. And so I was blessed to be able to go to some good universities. Uh, Stanford is one, um, Berkeley Law School is another. And then you make decisions that allow you to get into a place where you can help. And that's the trajectory that led me to become a lawyer for rural poor people and also then ultimately to, to run this organization that's uh, recognized as one of the better legal aids in the United States. As executive director, I direct a 20 office network of legal aid offices. We have uh, 55 attorneys whose work it is to serve rural poor people. We are part of what goes back as the war on poverty during the 1960s. During the Johnson-Kennedy administrations, there was a national effort to try to eliminate poverty. So the idea that you were going to try to improve the conditions of poverty led to national leaders thinking that legal aid uh, was, would be helpful, giving people access to the courts. So CLA started in 1966, formed by organizers and lawyers. Uh, nationally, it was the first legal aid to have farm workers, one, as a focus of its work, but also to have farm workers on its board of directors. Names like Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta, of the time, the first great boycott was brought by Filipino organizers. And one of the leaders was a man by the name of Larry Itleon, who was also on our board of directors. And the other one was Cruz Hinoso, the first Latino on the California Supreme Court. But at the end of the day, really, it was to give farm workers access to the legal system and other rural poor people access to the legal system of this country. That was what started it 50 years ago, and that's what it is today. And unless you have people enforcing it, the condition is only a law and a right on paper. So for example, right now, we, as we speak, my workers are out in the fields checking to make sure that there's water, that there are bathrooms for the workers, because those laws are there to create healthy environments for picking the food that we eat every single day. I have been working doing uh, legal aid and supporting farm worker legal aid and uh, rural poor people legal aid now for 38 years. People have said, Jose, uh, isn't it your turn to retire? <laughs> and I tell my friends, um, it's very difficult to retire from something that was never a job. It really was a purpose. It is something you do not retire from. I'm going to continue working and continue to make that same contribution I've been making for the last number of years. And uh, somebody else can retire me from justice because um, I'm not ready yet.